a head coach of Sussex Women's Cricket, so the, the women's team that play some matches here and the rest of our games over at Bacca. Um, but my main role is the director of cricket at Bacca, which a lot of you probably have played cricket if you've done indoor stuff over there. Um, but also, you know, we are the state school of choice for Sussex cricket to develop uh, our wonderful sport cricket within the state sector. Um, I played uh, cricket for Sussex for 21 years, 16 of those in the first team, um, so my knees are now gone. Hello, hi, I'm Jess, um, and I have a really broad variety of roles across rugby. Um, so I'm the head of people for the Six Nations tournament, a uh, small little rugby tournament that's going on at the moment, <laughs> but it's only the first half because the women starts next week and that's going to be so much better. Um, I also um, am a community coach for Harlequins Rugby Club, coaching all youth, uh, both boys and girls, uh, from the age of 6 to 18. Um, I'm also a mentor for new female coaches coming into rugby for the World Cup 25 as part of the Impact Programme. Um, but I'm also a coach as well, and sometimes player still, possibly. Uh, I'm the head coach at Dorking Women, um, but I'm also sponsored as part of the Red Roses um, Pathway <laughs> Programme to excel women coaches into the elite game, both the men's and the women's game. So I'm also going through my elite qualifications at the moment. I'm a, a, an academic, so I'm a lecturer at um, the University of Chichester in um, sports and exercise, and my specialist area is nutrition. And as well as doing that, because we all have a, a number of roles, is um, I'm working as a nutritionist, as a performance nutritionist. I work with uh, the Sussex cricket team, and I'm also um, GB basketball and England basketball's uh, nutritionist. Um, and I didn't play sport. I did actually once swim for Scotland, but that was a long time ago. And then I did some, um, some sailing. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I've never been a particularly amazing sports person. But I, I think that doesn't mean that you can't really enjoy working in sport. I love being outside, and I love the, the sort of you know encouraging people and, and um, seeing people really you know, reach their dreams. That really does something for me. Hi, I'm Jenny Wheel. I'm a clinical psychologist, so my world's a bit different. I wasn't sporty at school, um, I wasn't kind of naturally good at it and it felt like it wasn't really a thing for me. My journey into it has been through being a clinical psychologist and clinical psychology is, is all about mental health and well-being as opposed to sports psychology is more around performance. So I kind of like gradually found my way into it and it felt really important to me when I saw about today to, to come along and talk about mental health because it sometimes does get a bit forgotten and even in the world of elite sport where you might think people are living their dreams, they're having an amazing time, there can be lots of pressures, there can be lots of stresses um, and those would be the sorts of things that I, that I help players to, to work on. Uh, so I'm Caris, uh, I'm a portfolio non-executive director, I work for six different companies, I, one of those is Premiership Rugby, because I love rugby, I've always loved rugby and uh, I get to make decisions and help them make decisions about when matches are going to be played, some of the rules, like how much they can spend on players. So I'm Nicola, I'm a yoga and mindfulness instructor and I work in studios throughout Brighton and Hove. Um, I do come from a sporting background, so when I was younger I used to absolutely love hockey and athletics and netball, so I was really, really passionate. Uh, and I still am, so at the moment I'm very much into hiking, so going on sort of long hikes in the South Downs, I find it really lovely to be out in nature, as well as dancing. I do love a bit of Charleston dancing, which is really good fun. So yoga is my passion. I really do like working particularly with um, younger people, with children and teenagers, because I love to see, as we've just heard, about the mental health benefits. I think our physical health impacts our mental health. And for me, when I, when I do yoga, I feel so much better. And I love to see the benefits it can have on other people when they do it. So. Hi everybody, I'm Lucy Pinto and um, I own the Box in Brighton. Some of you might have heard of it. We do work with a couple of the schools that are here. Um, I am a personal trainer and a sports psychologist. I also, like the rest of the panel, wear another hat. And I'm a creative director, so I work in TV and magazines. So women's health, women's running, men's health and some other fashion magazines that we get. Sort of reason, main reasons that I got into what well, I actually opened the studio is um, I really wanted to change the narrative of women being seen in a gym and in sports in general, really. There's always that sort of conversation of, I don't want to go to the gym, I'm afraid of going into the weights area. Um, myself, I've always been into fitness. I was a gymnast, um, county level, up until I was about 18. 
had an injury, then had to sort of change my perception on what I actually did with my body, and I got into boxing, and it completely changed my life. It didn't only just empower me, it empowered others around me as well, and being, like, I'm quite, I've got my heels on, I'm only five foot, but I actually felt really strong and powerful through doing this sport, and I wanted to chat about it really, so I opened the box, it is open to everybody, it's men and women, um, but we are very inclusive, it's it's about being in a safe space and experience about um, really believing in your, your own strength. On the other side of my life is a creative director working with magazines. I was the first creative director to um, feature an amputee on uh, Runner's World, which is, it shouldn't really be talked about because we should just be inclusive as it is, but we're really trying to push that narrative and actually feature real people, people like us, people that we can relate to um, and also inspire to. Um, 